All right, so it's Friday. We got off of work early today. Thank you, Mr. Perkins. Thank you, Mr. Perkins. And uh, we decided to go to Lowe's today instead of tomorrow because going Saturday, man, it eat, eats up half the day. Yeah, we can't even get anything done, Harley. So hopefully, hopefully we can get a lot done tomorrow. And uh, guess what? We also got our uh, pro trailer park. They knew we were coming. Yeah. I called them. Yeah. I told them to make sure they save us a spot. Arkansas, look. Wow. It's from Arkansas. <laughs> Let's go talk to them. <laughs> Okay, so after 34 minutes of looking for a cart, <laughs> we're ready to get some material. What do you think, huh? The place is killing me, bro. You waste half your time looking for a cart. So the only material that we actually need for tomorrow is a couple pieces of side. Okay, that should be easy. Okay. Yeah, that's it. How much is it? 40 bones. No. It's not too bad. <laughs> it's not too good. <laughs> that's better than the 60 bucks Arlo was saying it was. Yeah. Dude, did the Perkins sell all that extra scrap drywall to Lowe's? What's up over there? Dewalt makes a blow dryer. Bro, yeah. dude, why is it every time I need your trailer for supplies, you've got a dump run that you've got to go on? I'm sorry, man. I'm always throwing out crap from my house. This was our contraption from last week, which we've got to take off because I don't want to damage my plywood. Man, those T25s I just bought are going to come in useful, huh? <laughs> Yeah, they are. <laughs> I got one somewhere. There you go, bro. Maybe a two here. Go ahead. Okay. Take one. Sweet. You can keep it. I'm gonna take this to my house, drop it off. Wait, You're gonna go to the dump. Drop, wait, we're dropping everything off, right? No, dude, I'm not taking your crappy I you lattice. The, I thought you wanted the lattice. No, dude, that's plastic crap. I mean, I think it looked good at your place. I think if it looked good at my place, then it looks good at your place and you shouldn't have torn it down. Old Stephanie didn't want it. Yeah, it's all about what our women want. Exactly. But uh, yeah, we're gonna drop this off, go to the dump, then we're gonna meet up with Arlo and have a beer. Oh yeah, sounds like a Friday to me. It's Friday. Wow. wow. Hey, where do you want to put all this lattice? Uh, the lattice? This going? That's not going here. <laughs> yeah. No. That's part of using the trailer, bro. You gotta take what? all my crap with it. No way, dude. <laughs> Come on. Sign up for that. I don't want to go to the dump. You shouldn't have ripped it all down then. Talk to my wife about that. Uh, I'm not talking to your wife, you talk to your wife. <laughs> okay, so over here at BCO and when Jason left my house, he did not have these chairs. When he went to the dump, he did not have these chairs. I guess he picked these up at the dump. We'll have to ask him. All right, well, it's Saturday morning, and I'm uh, going over to Jones's house again, but uh, again, he calls me because he needs some stuff. So he needs some of my good tools. So I'm going to get some nice sawhorses for him. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, there they are. Those bad boys will work. We'll get those for him. All right, so today is the day. Today is the day we're going to move the window and door. Yeah, it must be something big. You told me to bring my uh, tool belt today, so. Yeah, we're going to definitely need those. <laughs> definitely need those so um like we were talking about well actually that window is going to there's change plans i didn't tell you that um always the last to know this door is going to go somewhere in this vicinity and that window is actually going to be shifted just a little bit into that corner a little more that way it's the same distance from the corner as that window over there okay Okay. So, I mean, we kind of know what we're doing here. I mean, we've built window openings. We build houses. Yeah, but we don't really remodel houses, so. We do now. This will be fun. So, the first thing we're going to do is remove these two cabinets just because uh, they're kind of in the way and they don't need to be there. So. Sledgehammer? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, you want to save them? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We're not just completely demoing everything. <laughs> dude, things are going easy for us so far. Dude, don't say that. Guy is toy jinxed us. Okay, so the electrical's hot right now, and uh, I kind of need to disconnect stuff. The only thing I care about 
are these lights here. So if I just cut it here, I think this wire goes, you know, to this and then back down right there. It should be good. Are you asking me or telling me that you're gonna be good? Um, <laughs> just looking for a little reassurance. <laughs> sure, buddy, it'll be perfect. We're completely wrong. <laughs> we? Yeah, dude. No. I, dude, you. Uh, I was just being nice by going along with whatever, you. Whatever, man. Anyway, I thought the electrical ran from up here, then down here, but apparently it runs across underneath the window. So, bad news is uh, we're not going to have any lights. Perfect. We can't see your mistakes. So, we're going to actually measure where the door goes first before we take out this window. Uh, because I haven't really done that yet, so I don't know exactly where the door is gonna go. How do we know where the door goes exactly? Well, I drew, I drew my kitchen up in SketchUp, like where the studs and everything are. Wow. Yeah. So we're just gonna hide the cabinets, and uh, we're gonna go to where the door opening is. Anyway, it was thirteen. <laughs> Five and three eighths whenever it worked. <laughs> Perfect. 13, five, now and three I know eights. what Eric writes is on a napkin. We gotta start ripping this uh, window out, but I'm not exactly sure how it's connected. Um, I saw a couple screws there on the yeah, side. Yeah, there's some screws on the sides here. Well, not here. You only need them on one side. Apparently. I don't even know if those are the right screws, but we're just gonna <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> Kind of our motto, just kind of figure it out as we go. Exactly. These are Anderson Well, it's Okay, so we got unlucky, and uh, I was hoping that maybe these were like remodel style windows, but they're actually original, and there's a flange on the other side that's underneath the siding, and uh, they've got no trim or anything like that, which, I mean, I'm going to do trim, but... We're just gonna sawzall through the flange and uh, figure out a way to install the window uh, afterwards. Figure it out later, Jones. Figure it out later. Oh, stop, 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 stop. You're cutting the window. Hey, stop, 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 stop. He's going into the window. Oh. Well, cock and paint will fix that. <laughs> I love it, dude. You're just like, whatever. You're just dead. <laughs> That's what Jamie Perkins does. <laughs> we realized there's not a flange in the bottom, so uh, we took out all this stuff for no reason. We got good practice, you know, for taking it out. The yeah, we got to put it back in, though. Yep. Becca! You got a big hole in your wall. Becca! Hey! What? What are you doing? Talking to Stephanie. Oh, that's your wife, man. <laughs> what do you want? Hey! What? So, uh, I know you wanted like an open concept and stuff. Well, I mean, why not let's just go for the real deal? Just an open window. Yeah. And that's yeah. nature in. I can't think of any reason why that wouldn't work. <laughs> I mean, we got, I mean, it's covered. It's covered. <laughs> we got four foot overhangs. It's good. Yeah, no. Good I, I like it. It looks, looks great. <laughs> Bro, we use this thing all the time. We're going to have guns. This thing, that is a gun. Oh, I mean, I meant arms, guns. Oh. This thing's heavy as crap. <laughs> you can barely pick it up. You're going to have to spot me next time I use it. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> no hoses. That is nice. Wait, let me just, I can go from out here, you know, cheap something, bop, bop, bop. <laughs> How'd it go? Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Earlier we made a mark where the left side of the door opening is gonna go, and over here, uh, well, this left mark here is where the right side of the door opening is gonna Let's go. Not focus on that right <laughs> Uh, so what we did is we leveled all that up. We made marks where our jack and our stud is gonna go the same thing up here And uh, we're gonna just cut it here so that we can install 
a jack and a stud. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right, so I went out to the lumber yard, which is Ray's basement, and I'm gonna grab a couple decent studs that we can use uh, to frame off this door. I guess I'll just pick out the best one and see what we got. Becca, we need nails. They're right over here. Oh, we got them. I guess we'll get our own nails. What kind of helper we got here, bro? 81 Jack. 81 Coda. Coming right up. Combustible molder ignited. Oh, that doesn't sound safe. Hey, can I have some of the cotton candy? Sure. Mmm, yellow banana. You got a door opening. Nice. Best looking door opening I've ever seen. Hey, I'm gonna go out the new door. What? What, what? Man. Yeah, Becca's gonna love this open concept look. All right, so the next step is to take out the real door and uh, put it in over here. Sorry. It's okay, I wasn't trying to talk or anything. So what do you got going on down here? I gotta, I gotta take all this stupid spray foam off. Who put all the spray foam on it? I don't know, but they sure did add a lot of extra work to this project. It's like filleting a fish. It don't fit. It don't fit. Oh, the reason why is I forgot to cut the bottom plate out. Your beard's looking hot. Yeah? Yeah. It always looks hot. No, it's got a bunch of crap in it. Oh. So, uh, we're gonna put some liquid nails or, you know, some sort of adhesive underneath the door, but the only thing that we could find was this. And we don't have a cock gun big enough for it. What are we gonna do? This. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's one way to yeah. do it. See folks, they're not just hat racks. Got a monsoon on the way. Yeah, man. I gotta go. No, dude. You gotta stay. So I gotta, I gotta go. Dude, Becca's getting lunch. Oh yeah, I'll stay for lunch. So, uh, we haven't really been recording much, man. I know. Dude, we're just... I'm trying. Dude, I'm just saying, like, we've been hard at work, man. That's the problem. People want longer videos, but we gotta get stuff done, dude. I know. If I can't just stand around and do nothing all day, you'll yell at me. I mean, I just don't like to do that. So, we're realizing we're not gonna get to the window today, so we're gonna just go ahead and work on putting the siding up. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut about a quarter inch back this way. Yeah. And then I'm gonna come over here, which from there to over here is about four feet. And I'm just gonna slice this one and then a full sheet will fit right in there. And you won't even be able to see the difference. It'll go whoop, whoop. Genius. Done. Done. Real man of genius. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, how long does it take your wife to go get sandwiches? Dude. I mean, where did she go to get them? Like, Waynesville? Probably. I'm starving over here. I know. Okay, you can go back to work. Man, it's getting cold in here. Cold. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm gonna leave. That's yeah. it? Man. Well, one of us is gonna be staying around. Uh, and since it's your up. since it's your house, I figured I'd stand around. I'm yeah. gonna go get the RV scored away for our uh, little trip. I can go start doing that while you're uh, finishing putting up your siding. Okay. It's day two of this project, and uh, you might think that that's done, but that's not. I actually just put some nails into a piece because I didn't get back to working on it yesterday. 
so well it is what it is I gotta finish it today Okay, so before I add the siding, there's one more thing that I actually have to do. As you can see, like there's this half inch, I don't know what it is. It's like a particle board type stuff, but uh, even worse, I guess maybe this was okay back in the day, but you know, I'm just gonna leave it there for now because I'm not gonna rip out all of my siding just yet. But um, I need to add a half inch layer of something back behind here. And I completely forgot about that until Jason reminded me yesterday. So let's see what we got. I'm actually going to cut about a half inch back on the sheathing so that whenever I put my new half inch stuff up here, it will have something that it can actually nail to on the side. So at first I got to take out all the nails that I'm going to hit like I just did. Okay, so I used about all the half inch plywood and OSB that I had and I still have quite a bit to go. So let's just see what we got and figure it out. Yeah, so the house has been like this for over 24 hours now. How do you feel about this, Becca? Um, you know, not great. <laughs> I, I'm waiting for there to not be a hole in this side of our house. Yeah. But, but you'll get it done. Yeah, I'll get it done. It'll be fine. <laughs> You're such a saint, like everybody says. I'm a really good actress. As I've ran out of material for the half inch sheathing, whatever you want to call it, that goes underneath the siding, I tried to think of ways to do it, but um, I'm just not happy with it. So what we're gonna do, unfortunately, is fix it tomorrow. Cause I'm gonna go to Lowe's tomorrow and pick up a half inch sheet of plywood to do this right. So, still gonna be a hole in my, in my wall. Yeah, I mean, but just for one more night. Just one more night. That's it. Promise? Promise. All right. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. Are you booping my nose? I, well, I'm booping something. I mean, I guess I'm just going to put this back up. Just cover that hole? Yeah. I mean, you can't leave it open all night. Mm, no. Unless you want to. I mean, I don't, I feel like a bear could come through that or something. Perfect, I'll just slap some paint on it. Call it good. All right. Beautiful. Be it's Monday, it's after work, about uh, six, six or nine. And uh, got my half inch plywood. Well, we got that out of the way. Um, now we just gotta put this piece of siding here and uh, also do something about this window. Okay, so on our piece of siding here, T111, we're gonna actually back cut this and a little bit because the other side over there is already ready to be overlapped, but this one isn't. Okay, so I have it back cut about a quarter inch. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over and then take my table saw, set it about at a quarter inch depth and uh, run it right along here so that it will cut that part off. The only problem is flipping this thing over. And uh, you guys have already seen time-lapse struggles of that. And bam. There we have it. A little caulk, paint, be good to go. Okay, so now we need to get this one done. Um, what time is it? 7.45. Hopefully it doesn't take as long.
Okay, I'm done for tonight. Hey, uh, Becca. Um, I'm done for the night. Okay, so a couple things. One, um, I tried to reuse most of the insulation that I could, but the plan is to re-insulate anything that looks like that, which looks like crap. Over there, it's fine. I'll probably stick with that stuff. Um, another thing, I kind of temporarily rerouted this wire um, because I need it for the lights in here. So that's a thing. I did put some uh, spray foam around the door and uh, everything should be good for tonight. It's a mess in here. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> this has been the biggest mess that I've made so far though. It has, yeah, this is totally the worst. And you only had to live with it for like 48 hours. Yeah, it could have been a bajillion times worse, but I'm ready for for it to be cleaned up. <laughs> yeah, let's let's do that. <laughs> we had to put Koto away because she goes crazy over brooms and uh sweeping up this stuff with the insulation, she's uh lose her mind. She will lose her mind. Yes. So it's all cleaned up. Feels so much better. Yeah. So it's, much better. Feels like home again. It does. Well, I mean, we still got out here. Just, we won't, we won't look at that. Just keep that door closed. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, and one last thing. It's only 9.36 at night. So, uh, the night's still young. Time for dinner. Time for dinner. <laughs> Meatloaf. <laughs>